Hello and welcome to the 5 star guide on racing in Star Citizen Alpha 318. It's been a long time coming, but racing has finally made it into the verse, and along with it come 7 new tracks, 6 inspired by the XGR racing community, 1 CIG original, and the PTV racetrack on Horizon. Whether you're a seasoned veteran or just looking to get your feet wet, it's an exciting time to be a speed demon. Before we go any further, let me just clarify that all of the information in this video is coming from PTU Wave 1, and like everything in Star Citizen, it is subject to change. Alright, so starting off, let's take a look at these tracks and where they are. There's the Lorville Outskirts on Hurston, the Skyscraper on Arcorp, Miner's Lament near Grimhex, Kaplan Stadium on Orison, Yadar Valley on Damar, the Icebreaker on Euterpe. And of course, the classic snake pit over on Cleo. So how do we accept these missions? Opening up your Moby, you will see a new tab specifically for racing, with contracts active for each course. Each course comes with its own in-lore description, as well as set times for each ranking. These rankings range from bronze to the low end, to platinum at the top, exceeding the maximum time, leaving the track, exiting your ship, or dying will result in a DNF. Currently on the test server, all tracks are available right away for testing purposes. However, according to CIG, when Alpha 318 goes live, only the Lorville track will be available at first, with the rest unlocked as you gain reputation. It's unknown at this time if more reputation will lead to higher payouts, but we'll have to wait and see. While we're on the subject, let's crunch some numbers for the credits per hour crowd. As of right now, Completing a course with a Platinum ranking will net you 1,600 credits with a 2,800 credit bonus. Using Kaplan Stadium as an example, that's 4,400 credits every 3 minutes for a total of 88,000 credits per hour. That's not bad, but definitely not ideal. I would like to see this increased a bit considering how deadly racing can be and to get some more people to try it out, but it's a good start. I would like to take this time to point out a bug that I've noticed currently on the test servers. It appears that you cannot die from collision on any course that is inside of an armistice zone. This includes the Lorville Gateways and Kaplan Stadium at Orison. While this is a very egregious bug that needs to be squashed, it does provide a unique window of opportunity for would-be racers to try out a course in a risk-free environment. Hopefully CIG hears about this and fixes it for live. All right. You've accepted your first contract, now let's get on to the race. Get geared up and fly to the QT marker provided. A quick word of warning, for time trials in the PTU, you will get a racing HUD and a timer countdown visible only if you wear a helmet. So it's advised that you don't go racing while freeballing in a hospital gown. Once at the track, you will be guided to the starting line. You need to be floating inside the starting zone for a full 10 seconds as per the timer before the race starts and the first checkpoint activates. If you don't have a helmet, you know the timer is up when you see the second checkpoint pop in. But seriously, wear a helmet. From here, just follow along through the checkpoints as they appear. I have found that the only racetrack to feature these large glowing checkpoints would be the Arcourt track, where they are a permanent fixture and not exclusively visible with the mission. This is a little unfortunate because some of these checkpoints can be a bit unclear on the acceptable zone to register. However, according to the weekly sneak peek, it appears the gates may be coming to other tracks sooner than later. Now that you've started, you'll want to go slow at first. You've made it all the way here, and it'd be a shame to instantly crash before you've seen the whole course. I know this is counterintuitive when you're in the racing mindset, but trust me. Survivability outweighs speed. Now if you're looking for some advanced racing techniques, I recommend checking out the XGR official Discord, which will be linked in the description below. Really good stuff there. For now, I'll give you a lightning fast rundown of the basics. First off in your settings, you want to make sure you turn on your velocity indicator and have it always on. This little bow tie icon is your bread and butter when racing. Think of it like a cat's whiskers. 
If they fit through a space, the cat fits through the space. The same applies to your ship. Keep your eyes on this and you'll be fine. The second main tip is on turning. Roll 90 degrees with your belly facing outward. Then utilize your bottom thrusters to get you through the turn. Many racers opt to spend the majority of the race already rolled over at the angle of their next turn. Just so all they have to do is utilize the bottom thrusters to fit into where they need to go. If you're looking for some people to race with, or just have a few questions, feel free to pop on over to the live stream on twitch.tv slash the 5 star, where I'll be racing regularly. I'm always willing to give some tips or chat in Discord if you're looking for some racing action. And that's that. Hopefully by now you've gotten the itch to go out there and try it for yourself. What course do you think will be your favorite? And will you be racing regularly in 3.18? Let me know below and I'll share my thoughts with you. Until next time, I'm 5 Star, and I'll catch you on the flip-flop. Peace out.